Hi, I'm Tom from Lee Music Co. And I am back here with James from Simon and Patrick and Seagull Guitars. Yeah. And um, we've been looking at different body shapes of guitars, haven't we? Yes, we have. Okay. So tell me a bit about this one we were looking at. Yeah, so the previous video we were looking at the dreadnought shape. This is a dreadnought. This is exactly the same. Cool. A little bit more of a, a cut here, more of a traditional dreadnought. The Simon and Patrick brand mm -hmm. uh, for us um, are historically the more traditional looking guitar. Seagull tend to have a lot more um, sort of technical, you know, the, with the shape of the headstock and the slightly curved. Whereas if you want a real traditional kind of acoustic guitar, Simon and Patrick tends to fit that bill very well. Okay. This is. Timber-wise, mm -hmm. different in the sense that it's a cedar top as opposed to a Sitka spruce top, which was on the previous one that we looked at. Okay, so that's where a lot of the difference in sound is going to come from. Absolutely. Okay. Yep. Um, as we flip it over, you will see our uh, Wild Cherry back in size yeah, yeah. again. Uh, so very, very, very nice, very aesthetically pleasing. Um, and uh, yeah, it'll help push that sort of tone out through that lovely solid cedar top. So. What we should get from cedar is a lot more warmth and a bit more of a, a softer kind of mid-range and, and, and higher end. Should be should be sort of tapered off a little bit. Okay. It's quite hard to describe tone. You're always looking for good adjectives, but... Well, that's it. Well, we hear it. So that's the beauty of these videos. That's it. Um, but because it's a big body, it's going to be a nice strumming guitar as well. Yes, it will. Okay. Yeah. My uh, first guitar was a cedar. Dreadnought, okay. and I still play it to this day. So it, it does suit singer-songwriters very, very well. So I noticed earlier that you were pushing on the top here. Yes. You were in the chords. Yeah. Tell me about that. Why are you doing that? Well, it's a good way of testing if mm -hmm. a top is moving. Okay. Okay. So our tops are very, very thin. Mm -hmm. They're not going to break on you, but they're yeah, very, they're very thin. But thin. Absolutely. Coupled with our Adirondack spruced bracing, which yep. makes the bracing very thin, which is what sits underneath the top. Okay it means that the top is really moving. So when I go like this... You really are pushing against that there. You can You're really hear it. Pitch and, yeah. Essentially, the top is really moving, and that's a good... And you're not doing it hard, but it's a good way if you're shopping for a guitar to test if that top's moving. Yeah. If you've got a laminate top guitar, and those guitars serve a purpose in the industry, absolutely. Absolutely. But that top will not move, because it's all glue. Yeah. So this is moving, it's giving us a really nice sound from the way it's projecting. Exactly, exactly. So it's a good test. Well, let's hear it. Take yeah. it away. 